Bad bitch wanna be Gucci down. Bad bitch wanna be Gucci down. Little bitch wanna be Gucci down. You pull out a. Hey guys, it's me, Jelanice, and we are back with another video, baby. So, today's story time. Before you even try to judge me and say why she got that big old coat on, because it's cold and this is fashion, baby. Drip a drown. Drip a drown. Yeah. So, but anyway, today's video will be on a story time about the time I went to teen court. But before we start, I'm going to give y'all some additional information. You could skip a little bit if you don't want to hear it, but I know some of my YouTubers do. Um, now I'm going to be consistent. I wasn't, I'm sorry that I couldn't be. Um, my dance season was in the way. I'm going to drop a clip of me dancing right here. Okay, and um, yeah, so yeah, my dance season was in the way. School, like it was just overwhelming between practice and school, and I didn't have no time for YouTube. But now the season is over, I have plenty of time for YouTube. I have actually planned my stuff out while my season was going on, the videos and stuff. So I'm ready to keep y'all updated. So yes, yeah, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, now we're gonna get into the story. So basically, teen court. So I know a lot of y'all are asking like, what is teen court? What is teen court? So I'm gonna tell y'all what teen court is. Teen court is for teens. A court for teens. You can go for things, multiple things like fighting, the um, ruining school property, stuff like that. Um, like fighting your parents. Before I get started, actually, um, I'm gonna give y'all a few characters' names. Everybody else in the story, I'm gonna use their real name because there's only one girl, you know, that the reason why I'm in Team Court, what well, that I went to Team Court. Um, her name, we were just gonna call her Tweety, okay? We, we do, but in a deal that <laughs> that's what they call her in middle school, that's what we're going with, okay? So, um, yes, Tweety, um, yeah, we're gonna get into her a little bit later. So basically, the setting was I was in eighth grade. This is my eighth grade year, you guys. Um, I made a lot of stupid decisions in middle school. I never noticed that till now. You know, um, yeah. So like, at towards the end of the year, I don't know why it was like, okay. We thought it was okay to fight. Like, it was near testing time, and we like me and my friends. I don't know what it was. Like, we always got into a fight. Like towards the end of the school year like it always happens to us I don't know why like I guess cuz like we done with our auxiliary season and we just feel like what like girl what <laughs> but yeah in eighth grade like we just wanted to fight so bad at the end of the year I don't know why that was so dumb of us but like um so like we was divided into two teams in eighth grade year. It was the Cobra team and the Phoenix team. And I was on the Cobra team. If you was on the Cobra team, boss ass bitch, bitch, bitch. But if you was on the Phoenix team, the lane, that's a shame. You can't hang with us. Uh -uh. Yeah, so, um, basically, my friends didn't like some of the girls that was on the Phoenix team. And it was just like mad commotion, like mad commotion for nothing. Um,. It was really not even a real beef behind it, nothing. Like, people just wanted to fight at the end of the school year. I don't know. Attitudes was nasty. Everybody was just trying you for no reason. I don't know why it was like that, but it was, you know. And, um, yeah, so, um, the girls, it was like six girls that wanted to fight, like me and my four friends. It was like probably four or five of us. It wasn't that many of us, uh, because, you know, I don't really hang with people like that. Um,. Yeah, but anyway, they wanted to fight, so we all agreed that we was going to fight after school, so we wouldn't get in trouble at school, and everybody had somebody they was going to fight, but, you know, one Pacific person called me out, like, called me out, I, didn't have, I did not have no problem with these girls, you know, but if my friends fight, I'm going to fight too, so, you know, I didn't have no personal problem with none of the girls, so I was just like, I'm going to fight whoever, until one of the girls was like, oh no, I want to fight her me personally so you so you're saying you want to fight me personally i was just saying i'm going to fight whoever like i didn't really care but the girl picked me and you know what thing about being light skinned okay let me tell y'all so all my friends are like brown skin dark skin you know none of them they're probably a couple are light skin but they not as light as me okay so i'm the lightest out the group when you're the lightest out of the group girls are gonna want to fight you the most okay they're gonna wanna fight you the most. I'm telling you this from experience. Like, one time we was, like always, we was arguing with, me and my friends was arguing with a group of girls, and the girl just gonna say, oh no, I don't wanna fight, I don't wanna fight her, I wanna fight Jelanese. Me? <laughs> Girl, 
Go away, go away. No, you don't want to fight me, okay? You don't, because you don't know. I beat a bitch up. Okay, so yeah. So like, she was like, oh, I want to fight you. I'm like, girl, I'm going to do you dirtier than all of them. So it don't even really matter. Like, who you fight? Anyway, we're not we're not doing that. Okay, I just really hate that, though. Like, y'all be trying to... Y'all be trying to stereotype me because I'm like, like, girl, I will still whoop your ass. Badly. Terribly. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Back to the story. So, um, we was in math class. And I had told my sister, like, what happened. How the girl picked me out particularly. And I was like, yeah. Like, I'm going to do her dirty. I'm telling her that. Blah, blah. And she like, oh, no. I want to fight her. Like, we're going to fight her together. And I'm just like, no. I'm trying to tell her no. I'm like, just fight the sister. Blah, 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 blah. But my sister wasn't going for it. Because she already had beef with Tweety from the year before. She spit on Tweety. Tweety, Tweety did not do nothing. So, like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know why she was just popping so hard at me. I don't know. <laughs> So, you know, me, I'm not really worried about it because I'm like, okay, after school Tuesday, I'm going to show her. Keep in mind, it was a Monday at school and I had a talent show. Yes, I had a talent show. It's unbelievable. Yes, I was in a talent show. Me, my best friend, and her sister were going to do a praise dance at school. And yes, I'm a praise dancer. I know you're asking. Yes, I am a praise dancer. Here's a clip of me praise dancing. <laughs> gonna just do my little praise dance at the talent show keep in mind my best friend and her sister won the talent show first place and i was not even there because i decided to fight <sighs> yeah that's messed up i was trying to dance for god but i ended up fighting for him so yeah so um after the second period me and my sister well my sister she kind of hot head so she be like we gonna ask her do she want to fight you personally we're gonna ask her do she want to fight you personally oh, we go into the gym because she had gym third period so at the second period we went to the gym and my favorite coach was in there yeah i'm not gonna um say the name but that is my favorite coach that's like my father figure and i love him to death but yeah so um we all used to be cool with tweety right so coach thinking like we went down there we like oh coach um tweety in here and we used to be cool with tweety so he, he like oh yeah she in the locker room like he just say like oh yeah she in the locker room so we go in the locker room of course she's standing on the left side um by the showers the way our um locker room set up is showers bathrooms a whole wall sink and then the locker room part like yeah and so we came in we seen her on this side so um so i'm like so you said you want to fight like like you said you want to fight me i'm right here like she like let me call i don't know what to say for this girl name i don't know what to say for this girl name <laughs> She like, let me call Maya. And I'm like, for what? For what? What do you have to call her for? Like, you don't have to call her for no reason. Like, I'm asking you. Like, I'm just asking you right now. I'm just asking you a question. You say you want to fight me personally. So, she like, she just keep. Da -da. So, then that's when my sister say something. So, like, me, I'm not an arguing person. I, I personally can't argue for too long. Because once I hit one of these, you're going to get some of these smacked. Okay, because I can't. I can't argue with you. I can't. Once I stutter, once I say a wrong word, then I got these braces and I got bad speech problems, y'all. Like, I don't even notice sometimes I'll be speaking with a lisp. But yes, I can't argue for long. So, like, her and my sister arguing, and I'm just standing there ready to fight. Like, I'm not about to argue. So, she just keep arguing. So, I'm like, let's go. Like, let's go. We don't have no reason this girl don't want to fight because if she wanted to fight, she would have been hit us. Like, it doesn't matter. Let's go out this bathroom. So you know we're leaving out the bathroom but then no i'm leaving out the bathroom actually because i'm getting bothered at the point because i'm like why are we sitting here arguing with this girl like she don't we will fight her tomorrow what do we gotta argue about like i'm not gonna get suspended for just arguing with her that ain't even that ain't even my type of party so i'm, t I'm leaving out all i hear is boop 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 <laughs> yo i already knew it had happened like once i heard booty boop 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 I already know my sister knocked that <laughs> She knocked her out. I already knew from then she just was like going him. So I run back in there and of course they're fighting. So then I tell this girl that was in the bathroom. I'm like, Nadia, record. Cause I'm <laughs> back then none of my fights got y'all. I never got one of my fights on camera. Like that's so sad. Like I think it's because like I don't really plan fights like so I'm like telling Nadia before I jump in, record, 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 girl, record. 
Y'all, Nadia still didn't record. <laughs> Nadia still didn't record. I told Nadia, I said, Nadia, get the video. After the fight, I'm like, where the video? She's like, oh, I don't got it. Da, 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 da. So then, um, when I, I jumped in, you know, of course, because that's my sister. And first of all, that's not even my sister battle. Like, of course, they had beef. But, like, we really came down there to see if she fight me. How would I look if I just let my sister fight and I just watch my sister fight? Y'all be watching y'all sister's fight? That's the problem. Y'all be letting y'all sister's fight. Like, I get mad. How would I, I would not sit there and watch my sister. Somebody do that to your sister? You're gonna watch? Yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> not happening. So, yeah, so I started jumping in. We started fighting. Da, 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 da. Keep in mind, y'all, it was like a week after the gala. So, I, a gala is like our little prom. <laughs> I still had my nails on. I had a bob with some leave out. I was still fresh. Like, I was so mad. My sister had a whole frontal in. It was just terrible to me, y'all. I was so mad. Like, I had to fight this girl. I didn't have time to put my hair in a ponytail. I didn't have time to pop off my nails. I just had no time at all. Y'all, I just had to jump in. You know, that's what you got to do sometimes. So then... I jump in or whatever, we fighting, da 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 my sister fighting her, so then somebody gonna come and say, uh-uh, ain't no jumping, da 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 I, hit, I started hitting her harder, I started hitting her harder, cause maybe there is, okay, there is, you see we're doing it, who's gonna stop me, so they try to break it up, da 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 da, -da. so when they try to break it up, that gave her time to grab my hair, y'all, that was the worst mistake they could have made, like, y'all, she would not, I think she put her fingers in my cornrows, if we're being honest. Like, she had the best grip of my hair. Like, I was so mad. Like, she had the best grip of my hair. So, like, I, we both got each other hair because she got brazen. Like, her junk just flying everywhere. But, like, this is how it was. So, okay, I was on this side. My sister was on this side. She was in the middle. Like, and we was in this small stall. The stall was literally, like, probably, like, this, this big, y'all. Like, that big so i'm like we're in a small stall so like when i fought when i first jumped in like i was just boom 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 on the top of her head like you know my sister already beat up a cut her so then like when they i don't know what they did when they broke us up when they try to pull me off they try to pull everybody off she got a hold of my hair because i guess her hair went up she got a hold of my hair so we both got a hold of each other hair and we both down like this holding each other's hair and we both had each other hair so like i'm trying to get her off my hair so i'm just let my hair go let my hair go like uppercut your hair she still got my hair she would not let my hair go two things i'm gonna tell y'all two things i'm gonna tell the truth because i'm a truth teller like i don't have to lie like i like, did not touch that ground she did not let go of my hair like we were in that small stall and it was like really like nobody had no like space to throw people around so like we're in a small stall she just standing like she's not standing up but she like leaning down of course my sister just like <laughs> knocking her in her head and i'm just uppercutting the mess at her y'all i'm really uppercutting this girl so she can let my hair go she did not let it go like all i see is kids boom get out my sister boom get out my sister boom like she just going so hard like she telling her to get out my hair this girl would not let my hair go well y'all i was getting so mad i was kicking her I don't know how I got my foot up there, but I'm kicking her like this. I let my hair go. Like, I'm hype at this point because I'm like, why are you not letting my hair go? So, at this point, I'm just steady here. Her, she's bleeding, y'all. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. No, she's still not letting my hair go. So, then the police co come in there, y'all. The police come in there. And I'm so mad because I'm just thinking, like, we would have waited till Tuesday and I would have took this hair out and just left my cornrows in. I really would have, like, OD. Like, so I'm mad at this point. So, like, the police come. Everybody everybody knows that we're fighting. So, kids running in the locker room. Boys, this is a girl locker room. You know, you can't do that, really. So, um, yeah. So, um, the gym teachers come in there. They pulling me off. And I'm mad at this point. Because I'm like, no. Y'all didn't let this girl get a hold of my hair. I'm going back for more. So, they come in there. They trying to tell me to let go of her. And, and they're not telling her to let go of me. So I'm like, they're like, y'all need to let her go. I guess because, like, she was down at the bottom. So they telling me to let her go. But I'm like, no, she still have my hair. Like, no. Like, they're all saying, y'all need to let go. Trying to take my fingers off her. Like, oh, why are y'all not getting her off of me? Why are y'all not getting her off of me? She have my hair. That's the most important. That's the most control you can have over somebody's head. Like, that's mad disrespectful. And y'all telling me to get off her. So, you know, my hands was kind of slippery. <laughs> 
so like i'm rubbing my hands on the wall because i guess like it was a little bit of blood on there so i'm wiping my hands on the wall like that so they found like i got one hand holding her one and wiping my hands at the same time still trying to like hurt you up and hit her again so then they finally get me off of her and then i crawled under the deputy legs and got right back to her so at this point i'm happy again because you know i'm like boom boom stick stick boom stick stick move sweep boom, boom. So, like i'm going in like really like going in so then like they got me again they pulled me out this when the deputy came guys the deputy was ODing on me for no reason but yeah they got me and like the way the deputy grabbed me he took me like this and was holding me like this so i'm like let me go moving on everywhere acting crazy Somebody was like, it looked like I was going crack, how crazy I was going. Like, they was like, you was going crazy. I turned to the Credible Hawk. Because I'm like, no, like, no, let me, let me, let me get in there. Let me get in there. But, so then, you know, um, it's the way that it was. It was the gym, two halls that lead to the office. So they took my sister down this hall and they took me down this hall. Yeah, my sister was going crazy too. I meant to tell y'all that. My sister was going crazy on the other side, still trying to get back to the girl. They biggest thing was trying to keep that girl safe because we was going in so much. Like we was really going OD on that girl. So then, um, we get um, I'm walking and the officer had me like this. So then he started holding my hands behind my back. So I'm getting agitated because I'm like, let me go. Like I could walk to the office. Like you don't have to touch me. I'm walking to the office. Like don't you see me walking? So then this is going to put me in handcuffs. Put me in handcuffs. And I'm like, y'all, I ain't going to lie. I started acting a little more crazy when he put me in handcuffs. Because I'm already can't, I already cannot breathe. And like, you're like, it felt like I just couldn't breathe with my hands behind my back. Then it kept getting tighter and tighter. I'm like, let me go. Like, I'm telling him, get these shits off of me. I'm like, get them off. Take them off. Like, I'm getting mad. He just grabbing me more. Just get over here. Get over here. He just grabbing me, telling me, stop moving, yanking my hands. So I was like, okay, let me chill out before he takes me. <laughs> And my mom I was like, let me chill out for this man tase me. So I'm like, he's talking all this. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. Take me to the office. So like, we get in the office. And me and my sister get in the same time. That's how you know we sisters. We got in there at the exact same time. Like, that's crazy. Like, we got in there at the exact same time. So like, when we both get in there, we're both weak. Like, we're both just start laughing at each other. Because when I look at her, her whole frontal lifted. <laughs> My leave out looking all messed up, sweated out, crazy, hair all over the place. I don't got no brush. Like, I'm looking like we're both looking crazy. So, we start laughing. The police and them looking at us like we crazy, like we like psychotic or something. So, they put us in a room. They put my sister in the back room. They put me in this front room. So, I'm in the front room, y'all. And I'm like, I'm forgetting that I left my phone, my jacket, my book bag, all that in the locker room. So I'm like, I'm telling them, like, go get my stuff. So then they come back to us and oh, we can't find your phone. We can't find none of your stuff. So I'm going off at this point. Because I'm like, y'all got me in this office. Y'all won't take me go get my stuff. I'm getting, like, I'm about to get, I'm about to OD in this office. Like, get me out. So then they like, no, we not letting you go. Da, 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 da. We gonna have to find it. Da, da, da. So I'm like, call my mother. I don't want to hear no more. Call my mother. Call my mother. They like, no, we can't do that. Da, da, da. I'm like. Y'all can't do that. If y'all don't call my mother, I'm going to set it off in this office. So they steady saying no. So I got up at that room and I went in the main office and I said, call my mother. Now I'm just cussing up a storm so they will call my mother. So they find my phone or whatever. They got my phone, but they would not give it to me. So I go back in the room, right? Because I'm trying to look, find a way. I'm telling I'm begging teachers coming in the office like, can you call my mom? Can you call my mom? They like, we can't do that. We're going to lose our job. Da, 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 da. I didn't want to hear that. So I go back in the room and I notice that there's a phone in there. Something told me, like, Jelly needs to go back in the room. It was God, y'all. God was telling me, Jelly, just go in that room. Stop trying to, like, be disobedient. Just go in the room. It's a phone in there. So I go in there. I'm sitting down and I look and it's a phone. And I'm like, eh. So I turn around, like, I turn around like this. And I start dialing a number like that. And I put that bit on speaker, right? So it's on speaker. And I put it, on, yeah, I put it on speaker. So I called my mama and I started telling her everything. I'm like, they got my phone, they got my jacket. The police was jacking me up. I'm telling her everything. Like I'm going in. I knew she was about to set it off at that school because they didn't even call her until I got in a fight yet. I, I already knew. So that's when my mama and my aunt came up there and they just setting it off and off. I finally get to go home or whatnot. So then the police like. 
she might press charges da, 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 da. you know how the school is the school got to press charges all this extraness and i'm just like so we ended up all three of us had to go to team court because of that so i'm going to tell y'all the process so first they give you all your papers your information the police tell you everything da, 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 da. then that's when you gotta um go to this place they're going to give you the choices for your community service because once you go to team court you have to do community service so they're going to tell you like where you're going to um places you can look for community the work for your community service they're going to tell you how many um the days that you got to go to your court to figure out what days you you know gotta keep coming um they gave you all that information they're going to ask you one more time um a, thor a thorough story about what happened um and then you're going to be done with that part. And then this is when you got to go to the real courthouse, y'all. The real courthouse. So my first day at Teen Court, I ain't going to lie. I was a little bit nervous because I'm thinking, like, the way they was explaining it, like, I was going to be in there with villains. Like, people that kill people. Like, I'm like, I'm just like, I'm kind of like, I don't, I don't know what to expect. Like, I go in the room. It's kids that I know, y'all. It's kids that I know. Like, I'm like, this is Teen Court. This is ISS. This is ISS. I'm like, y'all all hype over this. Like, this is what I came here for. This. Really this. So, um, when you first go in there, you guys stand in the line. You know, in the real courthouse is the room. Like, where the um, judge sit, the juries, um, the cell thing. I don't even think we had a cell one in our room. I can't remember, but I don't think that we did. But, um, it looked like a real courthouse except for the cell thing. Um. And then um, you wait in the, the line, the straight line, and they're going to tell you where you're going to be seated at and da, da 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 So they tell me where I'm seated at, and I see the girl that I fought, and she's seated on the other side with her mom and stuff. And my mom never came to none of my team court things. My mom was actually very aggravated that I even had team court. She didn't like taking me all the way downtown. Like, yeah, so she was fussing at me the whole rise there, the whole rise back. I was just like, girl, 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 girl. nobody want to hear all that. So... You know, then basically, um, we at, um, I'm there or whatever, and the first thing that I'm doing, I'm confused because this is my first time, I don't know what to say. My sister's not in here with me, I'm just like, this is like, so you gotta go on the little thing, you know, and you gotta put your right hand on the Bible, and you gotta swear that you will tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, okay? oh my god like this is court court so you know i put my little i swear i swear i swear and so um the juries the juries the judge don't even judge you okay the juries judge you okay so the judge don't ask no questions the whole time it's just the juries the juries let me tell y'all who the juries are they're the bad kids that got in there for doing the same thing that I did. I was so heated when I found that out. Like, that's so hypocritical. Like, how are you going to have a kid that's in here for the same thing that I'm in here for judge me and they did the same thing as me? No. So, I'm already like, uh-uh. Like, uh-uh. So, you know, I get up there. I tell them the story what happened. They were acting so dumb. Like, they was making me mad, y'all. I was getting mad tight. Like, they sitting there. They like, oh, um, y'all, I just wanted to slap them the stuff they were saying to me. Is that your real sister? That's your blood sister? I'm like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I look at my blood. Blood couldn't make us any closer, so it don't matter. Like, like, I'm getting aggravated at this point. I'm like, I mean, blood can't make us any closer. Like, I'm, I said it like, y'all, and I can't help it, but I talk like, with it, like, I got an attitude. Like, I can't really help that. Like, y'all, I really talk like I got an attitude. Like, I don't know what it is. I'll be like, like, I said, we blood couldn't make us any closer like when i'm gonna say oh she's sassy she damn right <laughs> you're right i am sassy you're right so um the boy gonna say um was she jump in a fight for you did you not hear the story she did jump in the fight like so i'm like i'm getting mad because they asking me dumb questions i'm just like can i go now like Every question they ask me, I'm giving them raw applause. Like I don't want to hear all that. So then they're gonna come. Um, they're gonna go to the back room. You're gonna sit. You're gonna hear other people's stories. That's the good. That's the one thing I loved about Team Court. I got to hear like why they in here. What did they do? Kids was in there for stealing. People was in there for hitting their moms, y'all. I remember. Let me tell you about the one story I heard while I was in Team Court. 
What? Can you open no. What? No. I'm gonna tell you about one of the stories that I heard about this girl, y'all, in Team Court. So it was this girl. She was real country. She was from Longsburg or um uh Tar Heels. One of them. She was like not far, like you know. Yeah, like she had to go to our mall, like Cross Street Mall. That's how you know she lived far. They ain't got them all where they from. Like she was somewhere from like Lumberton, somewhere from there. And so she's country. So this was her, y'all. She go on a little um stage or whatever. And she like, um, she telling us the story. She like, um, I'm in here for stealing something that I really needed. And um my mom, she's sick, so the jury turns to the mother. And the mother's countries too. So he turns to the mother like, was that true? Are you sick? She stands up, y'all. She gives us this long, sad story. She like, I got chemo. And I had to pay somebody to take me all the way down here for this court. And I got to find rides for her. And I got to pay for my treatments and da-da-da-da. So I'm like, oh my God. Like, what did the daughter steal that's so important? Like, you know, people steal stuff for their family. Like, food tissues soap stuff that they need so i'm like oh my god i feel so bad this mom just gave this sympathetic story i'm so like i'm feeling so bad so you know like the jury they ask questions so i asked the girl i'm like so what did you steal this girl said a choker at a spencer's a choker yes 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 i was surprised too a choker i'm like uh, -uh. give her all the day and then I'm going to explain the sheet to y'all, the judging sheet, like how you determine how many community service days you work and all that. I'm going to tell y'all where I was working at too for my community service. So basically they're going to give you a sheet. It's going to say um, how many ju um, jury days you got to get. That's, you know, where you judge people, like how many days they get. They're going to tell you how many days you got to work. So I can't remember how many days I have, but I didn't have as many, but I kind of worked like a whole month in the summer. So I'll probably say like a couple times in the month. Um, and then they give you community service hours. Um, then they're going to say if you have to write like an apology letter, like if you stole some somewhere. I remember I made this girl write one because she hit her mother. I made her write like a thousand page. Like I be, I was, I was a good judge actually when I went. I might even be a little judge. So, you know, but stuff for like fighting and stuff. I used to get people like slaps on the wrist, like fighting and stuff. This girl got in trouble for kicking the window, slap on the wrist. Um... But it was a reason why she kicked the window, though. Because she was trying to get to the girl, and the girl, you know, moved. You know, she kicked the wrong thing. Oh, so, yeah, that's one of the stories. But back to mom. So, um, they come back. They give me a amount of days. I'm mad. I'm telling my mom, like, why they give me all these days. But that was the lowest amount of days on the paper. I did not know that it starts at a certain amount of days. It's not like, oh, she get one day, she get two days. It started, like, 20. Like, it started, like, and it's actually hours. It's not days. So, like, you get hours. So, um... After my first court date, I had to pick where I was going to do my community service at. And I chose um, Fuller's Recreation because I even posted on my story. You could see a clip I posted on my story. I was like, what's good places to work at? And a lot of people told me Fuller's Rec. And, you know, a lot of boys that summer, they was going there to play basketball. So, you know, I was like, mm. So, I went, to, um, <laughs> I went to work at Fuller's, actually. And um, I thought it was a real job. Y'all was posting on my story. <laughs> Everybody thought I had a job. I was doing community service hours, y'all. I was scrubbing toilets and all that. It was terrible, y'all. It was really terrible. But I met two nice people there. The woman who taught me was this black sweet lady. She's old. She, I hope she still worked there. She was so sweet to me, y'all. We had lunch breaks and all that. We was It was so fun. But it was only boring because I had to work summer days. And, yeah, I didn't get to do much because I was doing community service over that stupid fight, y'all. So stupid. And, um... Yeah, that, I had to work there. I finished my community service days. Now, let me tell y'all on the last day how this lady gonna try to do me. So, on the last day, you know, I wore, like, it was summer. So, I wore, like, a strap. It was a fat strap. It wasn't, like, um a spaghetti strap. It was, like, a fat strap. So, the lady gonna tell me, um, oh, you can't come here with that shirt. So, I go to the car. I'm gonna need my jacket. She gonna, like, she gonna say, oh, you already came in here. You can't come back in here. So, I had to do my last day over. Like, I had to come back, like, two weeks just to do the last day over. My mama was so mad. We waited the whole court session for that lady to get out. My mama cussed her out so bad. But, yeah, y'all, um, that was my team court experience. If I had, um, rated, I would rate it actually, like, a non eight, um, after you finish the class, you got to take, um, oh, that's what sells on the paper. Like, after you finish the, uh, your court sessions, you have to take 
the classes you could either had to take a making good decisions and anger management class those were fun they were short they was not long um they just tell you about joe basically so i make a little beyond scared straight um <laughs> they show you like what you're gonna be eating in joe um the soul the commissary um series, like all that stuff they just tell you a whole bunch of stuff about joe stuff you know so you won't go we got me officer coming here like girl we don't care team court is actually kind of fun though because like you've just learned a lot of stuff you experience stuff i'm an experienced in person i like to experience stuff myself and that was really like a great experience you know but i would never go back <laughs> But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this video, you guys. So yeah, you know, if y'all want to hear any other stories, let me know. I got more story times coming. Pranks. Y'all really need to leave me some more pranks to do with my mom. Because y'all want me to do a lot of pranks. But I need some suggestions down below. Hit that sus subscribe button. Comment a prank that y'all think I should do with my mom. And like this video up. Thank you guys for listening and watching. And bye.